I have wired up this amp meter. It's a, for 1966-67 Chevelle. It's actually a shunt meter. It's not an old style amp meter. It doesn't ha handle a lot of amperage. It handles maybe three amps. And the way it works is it's wired in parallel to the charging uh, circuit, which, it, which runs from the battery over to the horn relay. There's a, there's a wire that was originally uh, installed on your uh, Chevelle, which uh, uh, all the power that left the battery to um, handle all the uh, headlights, radio, everything except um, starting the car went th through this wire into the horn relay and from there was distributed out to where it needed to go. And in the same way, the recharge of your alternator or of your battery uh, happened uh, through this wire as the, uh, uh, the power uh, from the alternator went to the horn relay and back into the battery. So this one wire is sensing, uh, not carrying, but sensing the flow of current in and out of the battery. So it's a very active, active gauge. So what, I, what we have in front of us here is, uh, is a gauge that's wired up and there's nothing, uh, there's nothing uh, going on uh, right now. So, well first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn uh, the ignition on and then I'm going to turn the, uh, the headlights on. And you can watch the, uh, not, we're not going to start the car yet, so I'm just going to turn the ignition on. The needle should move a little bit. So we have a slight draw. Now I'm going to turn on the headlight. And you can see a little more discharge in the battery. So the, this is sensing the flow of current out of the battery. So now I'm going to go in and start the car. So now what we're seeing is we're seeing the battery recharge itself after starting the car. Starting the car drains the battery a little bit. And so this requires the uh, alternator to start to recharge the battery. And that's exactly what's happening now. This is how your gauge should function. And when the battery is fully charged, the needle will be back to the center of the, uh, of the gauge. And now I'm thinking I should have opened up the door to the garage as we're running the car in a closed area. And this is not a good idea. Uh, and I think, well, we'll be okay for now. Uh, if not, send uh, condolences to my wife and family. But I think you can see the needle, the needle moving, uh, moving down. And uh, now I'm going to uh, uh, put on the headlights again and see what happens. So I put the headlights on and nothing happened. The battery is being recharged uh, and it's, uh, uh, the alternator is certainly keeping up with the requirements. So, and, that's, and that's what you want to see. You wouldn't want to see a big drop when you put the headlights on. Okay, I think this gives me the idea. Uh, I'm going to shut the car off. Uh, by the way, I used Mad Electrical's um, relay kit for the headlights, so we're getting a full 14 volts at the headlights, and it, it really, really does improve uh, your ability to see at night. So I would highly recommend uh, that you use one of these relay kits and, and, and put enough power to your uh, headlights so you can see. So now the car's off. You see the, the things in the middle. I'm going to start the car again and just, uh, just uh, show you how that looks. So again, you see how it's charging the battery because starting the car takes power. 
That power is not sensed by the amp meter as it leaves the battery because it goes directly through that huge uh, wire, uh, uh, positive wire that goes to the starter. Uh, all other power goes through the uh, through this other wire that comes across the uh, the front of your car. Okay.